By now we all know that the Intel Arc can actually game and it can game pretty well. We've done multiple videos here on the channel on it on our Intel Arc A770. We've tested old games, we've tested new games and we've also tested its ray tracing capability and we're pretty impressed all the way through, particularly with Intel dropping multiple drivers that have actually increased its performance over and over again. But there is a final test and something that we've wanted to test for a while now, the ultimate test, the ultimate ray tracing test for an Intel Arc and that is obviously Portal RTX. Welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. So we've got our Intel Arc loaded up into our machine. Now this is a machine that you usually see behind us. It's the uh, studio streaming and gaming system that we, we use to play different games and that in the studio. But we've moved it over to the benching rig so that you guys can check it out. Now, ignoring the flickering on this old monitor here, you're not going to see this. You're going to actually see the screen, but we're going to actually get into the game and see if we can actually get it running. To begin with, there are actually things that we need to do. This game won't run on its own straight out of the box. What we'll need to do is we'll need to go straight to the settings or at least the properties of Portal RTX. And we're going to have to add in this minus Vulkan setting. Now that's going to allow the game to run on the Vulkan API, or hopefully it will. And that will actually get it started. If you don't do that, the game actually just crashes on launch and we can't actually get anywhere anyway. So we'll set that and we'll drop that down and we'll just hit play and see how far we get. We're actually getting the game loading now. We're actually getting the screen up and running. We're getting the source menu. We, If you don't put that minus Vulkan in, you can't actually get any of this, but We've got a nice NVIDIA advertisement there, but we'll jump into the game as much as we can. So straight away, we can see that we've got some kind of issue. This does not look like Portal RTX at all, or at least not from the videos that we've been given. The startup screen is a little bit slow and clearly RTX is not loading at all. So we'll drop into the options. Let's see if there's anything there. Now the menu is playing up and we've lost totally the menu now. It kind of looks like it's not even actually attempting to try and play with the new API, but it's going to be funny anyway. Let's try and see how we can get into the game. I can't read that menu at all. I'm just, just about read the uh, video. It's 1080p, but I can't really see much more. So we'll close that and we'll just get straight into the game. We'll create a new game. Oh, and the game menu is looking very similar. So it's actually quite a humorous start to it, but let's hit start a new game and see how far we get. Now the game has started, but it's not looking at great at all. And we've got our character in front of us. It's like we're in this weird third person kind of perspective we can actually see the back of our character's head but actually if we run forward we can see the back of their head that's quite humorous and clearly rtx is not running or ray tracing is not running on this there's something totally wrong with it but let's let's keep going and let's see what actually happens as we go through this is actually getting pretty funny now i'm gonna pick things up and throw them i'll give it a go anyway we there we go We've got to wait for the timer to go down and then we can actually teleport out and we'll see what the rest of the game looks like but clearly this is not running very well so the timer's come down and our portals have actually opened but they're not actually rendering properly at all we can, i'm assuming we can still walk through it no nope. oh yeah we can we can jump through it so it's actually worked we have managed to actually get through the portal it's not rendering very well the circle of the uh, portal is it's 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 there and that but you can't actually see through it into the next room but we'll continue on I mean, other things generally are rendering. It kind of looks like the original game, apart from this weird third person perspective that we've got going on, but we'll see if we can get to the settings now and if there's anything that we can do about it. So the actual menus now that the game are loaded are actually coming up. We can drop to the video settings, 1080p full, display mode, 16 by nine. There's nothing really in there that can change anything. All the advanced details, we've got high, 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 low, shadows, there's nothing in there that really kind of enables any kind of ray tracing or anything. I've not actually played this game before yet. This is the first time that I've actually really tried to give it a go. I could try it on our RTX 3070 Ti, but it's something that hasn't really kind of uh, interested me that much, particularly with the performance issues that people are getting. I love the original game so much that I didn't kind of want to ruin the experience. When I've got something a bit more high powered, maybe. I thought we would try it on the Intel Arc though because of how well it ray traces in other things but clearly there, there is some big issues here. I mean we've got a hardware DirectX level of 7 but that should have been um, overridden by the commands that we put in originally to the minus Vulkan but clearly that's just only helped it get up and running but let's jump back into game and see if we can have any more fun with it. So we're kind of still in this weird third person view and it's actually quite humorous really. We can actually see the back of our eyebrows which is quite funny. 
We can still play the game though, everything seems to work, it's just not looking like the original. So if you've got an Intel Arc, obviously you can get the game running, but you're not going to get all of the ray tracing features, and it definitely does not look great. So you might as well play the original because it looks way better than this anyway. We'll just continue on through to the next level, it looks quite funny with the person running, so it's, it's quite humorous really. Uh, we jump through the portal there. Yeah, so the portals still work even though they're not rendering. The buttons work. Everything does seem to work. Oh, my portal's disappeared now. Okay, I'm not really sure what's going on. We kind of seem to be stuck. Oh, portal's back. So let's go in there. I'm sure there is... Yeah, there's a box there. So we're going to have to go into that room first. But anyway, I'm not going to ruin the game by playing it like this. But at least we know how well the Intel Arc plays Portal RTX. And the answer is not very well at all. So don't bother trying this on your Intel Arc, at least not yet. Let's see if they can fix any bugs. I did do some research before we actually started this video just to see if anybody was getting issues. And some people did mention this kind of thing with an Intel Arc. And unfortunately, Intel haven't actually released any kind of fixes for it. The game has had some updates since it was actually released and clearly that's not fixed any of it either. But anyway, that is our current look at the Intel Arc A770 with Portal RTX. If anything, it gives us a baseline to check on later to see if there's any kind of improvements with it. But for now, let me know in the comments below, is it something that you've tried and have you got it working? If so, let me know what you've done so that we can try it too, because I would really love to see this game running beautifully on an Intel Arc. But apart from that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you in the next one.